Steve, can you hear me? I can. I can, Dave. I, I love you. technology, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to speed through these slides because I know you've got a big appointment that you need to yeah. get to here fairly quickly. And we're going to dive right into Retirement Boss Radio. Good morning, everyone. My name is Steve Murray, president here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Joining us is Dave Pimper. Dave is the coach. Uh, he coaches on many levels for us. He coaches seminars. He coaches practice management. And today he's going to talk about Retirement Boss Radio. This is one of my favorites for because the, the, there's so much opportunity uh, that so many of our producers are enjoying based on radio right now. So I want to make sure that you're all aware of uh, what we have going and, and nobody better to tell it, tell the story than Dave Pimper. So Dave, I am going to let you get right into how to take charge of your money with Retirement Boss Radio. Thank you very much. I love that picture. It makes me look skinny. Much, much skinnier than I really am. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Dave Pimper. I've done this for a long time. I've been in the production field of financial service for 41 years uh, on July the 9th. It'll be 41 years. So I'm in my 40th, 41st year. And and one of the things which has, has helped me become successful is just is just getting in front of a lot of people. And, and And the two main ways I do that is through seminar marketing. I do a lot of social security seminar marketing. And the second way is Retirement Boss Radio, and, and, and that's being your own radio host. And that's what we're going to talk about today. This is a 15-minute uh, webinar, so this is not going to be long. I'll answer a couple questions when I have time, but, but it's a, it can be a wonderful way, a way that a lot of people don't, maybe don't think they can afford, don't think they have the ability. And I'll tell you right now, radio being your own host for an hour show may not be any more costly than a, than a dinner workshop. So one of the amazing things is of how many people radio really does uh, uh, affect, how many people listen to radio. And it's not the kids. It's not the millennials. It's not the Zen years. It's not, it, it is the baby boomers. And it, but who has the money? The baby boomers. So people who are 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, that's the business I'm working with, that rollover money, that 401k rollover, 403b non, you know, non, uh, nonprofit, 457 government, TSP thrift, savings with government, rolling over that, that, that big government uh, rollover money. It reaches, radio reaches more Americans each week than any other platform. Fairly amazing to believe that, but it's true. Average age is perfect, 61. Split down male, female, almost half and half. 93% of adults, their household income is 75 grand or more, and an average household has listened to over 12 hours of radio. I think that's one of the reasons my seminars did go down because I couldn't go face to face. We couldn't get we couldn't get virtual working like we wanted to, though we tried. But 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 boy, radio really picked up. And, and just to let you know, and I know we're talking about. Retirement Boss Radio now, but but Social Security seminars. I mean, if you're in the doldrums right now on on the amount of appointments you're having, you know, I got 14 appointments from my last Social Security workshop, and and already done one piece of business. You know, that Social Security workshop cost me 2,750 bucks, and it's already brought me in nine thousand dollars worth of commissions. So, and I've got four more that I'm working on. Of people I've talked to for second appointments, but radio solid solidifies you as an expert more so than seminars, and it's hot. AM radio is hot, so so don't forget. Even though Rush Limbaugh is dead, I'll tell you right now, Steve, you may have to click this forward for me. What happens is is that radio's not dying. Paper, newspaper advertising, newspapers are dying but radio is not, not for our age group. So Rush Limbaugh, like our local station got taken over by uh, 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 Buck and Travis, okay, I think is the name of it, Buck Sexton. And um, what happens is, is that there's still a tremendous amount of people that listen to Glenn Beck, Kim Commando, Dave Ramsey, um, and they're listening that the, the people are advertising on those shows. That's that's how those celebrities make money. Next slide, please. So why retirement boss radio? Here's I'm going to just go through this. It, it sounds complicated. It's like I could never figure out as a little kid. 
of how my mom built and made that cherry pie. And true story, this is like just out of Ozzy and Harriet, right above right above our house when we lived in Little Howells, Nebraska. I was probably five or six years old. Mom would bake that pie from scratch, and then she had a little ledge right over you know, the, the kitchen sink where she could open up the window and cool it off. Uh, brings me back great memories. But I never could figure out how the heck all those ingredients, and it has to all work at the same time, but the end result was wonderful. That's the way radio is. There's a lot of stuff. It seems complicated, but the end result is extremely good. Here's here's the four components. First of all, the biggest cost to radio is is the station, is the radio time. And it's like lo, it's like real estate. You have to have the the right radio station. You have to have the right uh, uh, time spot. Uh, spot and you have to have the right pricing. And we can get that about half the time. I, got, I mean, I got a great station right now down in Kentucky, but the, the, it's ridiculous the price they want. And, and, and I'm calling my, my guy today and just say it's a great station, great time period, but it's double. We, I would never do it. I think the return on investment of that will be poor. So it has to those three things line up. We got a media buyer that does that. You don't go in and negotiate the time. He'll get in pricing. He can do he does all of that. And he's great. Twenty five years in the business, over seven hundred and fifty current weekly shows that he's purchased radio time for. That's the first thing. We do that for you. Second thing is the production company. They supply the co host, they they write the show notes. I redo the show notes so it fits all of our of our of our um, people who are giving retirement boss radio as far as the, um, the the radio host but they they take all mistakes out it's a recorded show they 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 mix it they edit it they cut it down to exactly an hour and, and off we go then because it's recorded when we do the offer and they call in from the from the toll free number and everyone ends in 2677 which is BOSS, Retirement Boss Radio, kind of fun. That's how we're that's how we're branding this across the nation. It goes, and that call goes to a live inbound high touch call center. That was extremely hard to find one that took the calls quickly, efficiently, and they actually set the appointment for you. There's an electronic calendar that we use between the two offices, and that electronic calendar you fill out every Friday. It takes us about 20 minutes to do it. And you will not, you won't have any of your appointments backed up. And then I'm then mine. I'm the fourth cog on this. What happens with myself is I coordinate everything. I coach you. I will say this: if if you don't know Social Security, I coach you up three sessions. I am pays for it. It doesn't come out of your pocket. But Social Security, Social Security, about a third of all the business that comes in is is geared around the Social Security claiming benefit. So. If, if you don't know Social Security, it's really going to be t- you're going to kill two birds with one stone. You're going to get hopefully a lot more appointments from radio, and you're going to learn Social Security claiming. I listen to your first shows. I, I critique them. I coach you through that. You can call me anytime you want to on Social Security. Anything to do with the radio. I have had a live radio show, live or recorded, but a 45 minute or an hour show for over 15 years between two. One was called. Um, uh, Money matters, and of course, with Retirement Boss Radio. That Retirement Boss Radio, that that name is um, trademarked. It's copyrighted, and the, the slogan is "Take Charge of Your Money." So that's that's kind of how it all works together. Steve, we can go to the next slide. Keep going. Yeah, this is what you get. This is the appointment that you get this email. It's, it's always, it's like Christmas. My, my show's on at Sunday at 12 o'clock. It's like, it's like Christmas every Sunday when I get those, those, those appointments. Those are not leads. Those are people that called us and said, I want to meet with Dave. So it says from KFAB, which is my radio back in, it was March of 19. Hey, turning 59 soon, hasn't settled on someone yet. And then the, the the person who took the call says he has a 401k that is seven figured and it actually is 946,000. Also had a question about social security. 
They set the time, the date. We just call them back on Monday. Next slide. Really, really work slick. That uh, URL, retirementbossradio.com, that's our website, www.retirementbossradio.com. We have a white paper on there. We've got podcasts of me um, on my phone, on all, you know, uh, and Steve, I know that you've heard it because you've commented. And we get a lot of comment on that um, from our clients and vendors. Yeah, we just play every week. We just update a, a brand new podcast, which means from the my actual show. And that's the background music when people are on hold. But if you go to retirementbossradio.com, you'll really get a good feel of what we do. Next slide. Cost? Everybody wants to know what the cost is. Well, I will tell you, I, I bet... When you start talking about an hour, an hour on, on one of your better AM radio stations in your area, talking about having a coach coaching you through, talking about um, uh, getting you coached up on Social Security, you can, and you can always call me those three coaching sessions, talking about a production company, an outbound call center. Yeah, most people say, I, I just can't afford ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month. Most, most of the cost right now, all in. Are going to be between three and four thousand dollars a month. Very, very reasonable. Very reasonable. We still, of course, we have locations open because this is a fairly. I mean, we've had it for a while, but a fairly new uh, 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 kind of build out. I coach you. I train you. So you got someone on your side, and that's something that different FMOs really don't have. They kind of give you the playbook, blueprint, and say, "Go get them." Kind of like in the old, old, old days. Start calling from the phone book. We don't do that. We're coaching you through this. Only thing you need to purchase, I call it studio in a box. It's a professional headphones, professional mic, um, a little wind muffler over the, 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 the mic, and um, a little sound box. It's about $240, $50 worth of equipment, professional equipment. We supply it's right from your laptop. As long as you have uh, internet, you, you're, you're, you're cooking. And the end result, as Steve Murray always says, they even get people that don't sound very good initially. They end up sounding really good when they're done mixing and editing it, taking out the bloopers, et cetera. So three to $4,000 to be on the radio for an hour. And, 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 our, and our goal is to get a minimum of 10 appointments a week. That's our goal. Like last week, I, I got four appointments in, in one week, which was great. All set. So Al Joseph said, I'd like to do radio just like, Pictures leave the imperfect stuff on the cutting room floor where you can, because this is edited. You can take out all the bloopers. And I'll go to this last slide, Steve, and then I'll have you put up um, the, um, you know, if, if folks would like to talk to me about radio, because if you haven't thought about it, it might be, I've seen it as little as $2,300 all in a month for an hour on the radio. There's no line that says procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. Tomorrow never comes for a procrastinator. I've never had someone come to me and say, Dave, I've, I've gotten rich off of procrastinating. People who are successful take action. If you want to take action of getting your, pre, getting your appointment rate up, being on the radio, it's, we, we, we walk you through. We help you through. We coach you through. I am the FMO. I'm the one that coaches. And I'm a producer. I don't work for IAMS. I'm independent, but I've coached for IAMS for 16 years. I've been with them for 17 for production, but 16 I've coached with them. And and I'll tell you right now, they're they're paying for all of your social security coaching, and, and all of the training. I I'm not in a hierarchy. I don't get I get paid by a stipend through the coaching that I do by IAMS and a stipend. It doesn't come from the client on this program. So if you'd like to talk, Brady Pelzer, we'll call you back if you mark yes. Get a good time for me and for you, 15, 20 minutes. Get a feeling of what you're doing, but seeing if this could be something that you could really take a hold of and be dominant, you know, in 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 your town. So Steve, I'm going to turn this over to you. You know, I got to. You don't have to, but I apologize. I I have an appointment at at 10:30 Central, and I got a little bit that I I have to prepare for it. So I got to leave here in three four minutes, but. Are there any quick questions you want me to answer before I sign off? Uh, can the program work on a half-hour segment? It can. 
and I say that can with a touch of hesitancy. Um, we've tried it twice and haven't had success. We've had, so here's what will happen. Let's say it costs you $3,500 for an hour. It's going to cost you $2,500 for a half hour. So you're like 60, 70% of the cost. So it isn't half of the cost. And that's where the bit of the rub comes in. If you can afford an hour, you want to do an hour. But if it's just a half an hour, yeah, we'll remember this. Most people don't listen for the whole hour. If you do a half hour, most people don't listen to the half hour. You need a little bit more windshield time. That's the way we would rather do an hour. But will we? I'd have to look at the station, the timing, the cost. But if they if they really want to do half hour, they're going to save some money, but they don't save half. They save about 25%. Perfect. Um, do we have anybody that is, do we have any females that are doing any radio, radio production with us right now, Dave? I know that we had yeah. one, but I'm trying to think of yeah. who we have one currently. Yeah, yeah, no, we had one. And, and, and actually, it's very, very interesting is, is that uh, she, was, she was quite successful and she's still doing radio. It, it was kind of a bizarre thing. I'm not going to go into all the all the, you know it inside and out, Steve. Yeah, no, yeah, but yes, we do. Yes, we did, and she was very successful. So we don't have her now, but there's, I, I, if you if if we talk, I'll I'll, I'll tell you behind the scenes. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Dave, I know you have to run. There's about three or four questions which I okay. can easily answer, and a couple things I'll probably add on. Uh, yeah. Thank you for taking a minute with us today. Uh, I know. Good luck on your appointment. Uh, I know things will go thank well you. for you there. You bet. Thank you very much. So thanks, everybody. Steve, Steve will answer the last questions, but if you have not considered radio, hope you mark yes on this because I'll tell you right now, in 15 or 20 minutes, I'm, I'm not joking. It might be something that really changes your life when it comes to getting in front of appointments because it certainly did, did did mine. Okay, so adios. So Steve, take it from here. I appreciate it. Have a Will good do. weekend, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Bye good bye. luck. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So uh, I see the follow-up uh, question, uh, and we can we can look into that uh, regarding if the station only had a 30-minute window. Certainly, uh, we're we could produce a show in 30 minutes. Factually, uh, you do produce them in 30-minute segments anyway, Greg. So what happens is uh, you'll go in the first the first time you record, you'll record. Uh, two 30-minute segments. The second time you record, you record two 30-minute segments, and you do that for about the first three or four. And then what happens is that you'll record one 30-minute segment, and then they'll they'll take your first 30-minute segment and replay that so that you're on for an hour, uh, and you're only having to record half an hour segments. And then that kind of works that way going forward. The fact of the matter is, is that nobody listens to the whole hour anyway. So you can do that. It saves a little on production and cost, saves on your time in recording. Uh, and there's no no difference. And so could we just produce the show for a half an hour? Uh, absolutely. Uh, no, no two ways about that. Uh, you have to remember that you, for each during the, each show time, you have a finite number of times where you can do that call to action. And the call to action is usually, hey, if you want more information on such and such, go ahead and give me a call right now. And then when they call, of course, they're calling the call center uh, and the call center is then making an appointment for them to chat with you. So if you're doing a half hour segment, you're going to get half of those. Uh, I noticed that Dave said he, his goal is, uh, you know, kind of minimum basic standard is 10 appointments per week. He misspoke there a little bit. I think he said a week. He meant to say 10 per month. Uh, and he, that is a good, solid minimum basic standard because right now Dave is probably getting more like 17, 16, 17 uh, per month, uh, which then makes that a very profitable uh, opportunity for you. If you're spending three, four thousand, you're getting 16 or 17 appointments and you break that down cost per appointment, you're going to find those are some of the more inexpensive appointments you get that you can get. And what Dave would tell you is that, you know, he does social security seminars still, uh, and he does radio still, and he gets referrals still. And in the hierarchy, he puts his radio appointments quite high. There seem to be higher, generally speaking, uh, net worth clientele that he's talking with. Uh, and the, the, appointments are very sticky. Uh, and so people do tend to uh, show up. I don't, uh, he probably has less than a 7% drop off on his annuity appointments where that might be a little bit higher on his seminar appointments. So very, very happy with that. Um, as far as uh, costing, uh, 
Uh, there are a couple questions about that. I know it's, uh, it, it, you may wonder why we here at IAM, so we take care of much of the, the training costs, much of the, the basics of what you need to be successful in radio. So what is left over for you, the largest cost is that advertising cost. And that is, as Dave mentioned, that's the highest single cost that you normally have. So that may be, depending on the radio station, that might be, if you're doing an hour show, that might be anywhere from 2,000 a month to five or 6,000 a month. In fact, we have a guy doing it in some uh, suburb that really is LA uh, and he's higher than that. Uh, obviously, the listenership is much higher than that as well. And those two kind of go in tandem. Uh, the cost and, and listenership or listenership numbers kind of go in tandem. Uh, but it is very important to find the right radio show. And so the media buyer that we use comes from a family of media buyers. They've been buying media uh, as a family for about the last 45 years. So the great thing about Jared is that he knows everybody. And he knows the, the talk radio. Sh uh, uh, if I said to him, Hey, uh, got a guy in Oklahoma City. He would tell you off the top of his head what the best station in Oklahoma City is to be there. And probably he would know who the current sales manager is there. So that's a really, really important component uh, to having radio work for you is being on, Dave mentioned, the right station at the right time and getting the right pricing. And what Jared does a really good job with besides that is also, you know, when he when his negotiations get right price, but he also is smart about negotiate, negotiating those 15 and 30 second spots. Uh, that promote your show and give you a chance to kind of promote something very specifically. Hey, you know, John, uh, if you if you have any questions about Social Security and you really need to lean on the value of an expert on Social Security claiming, listen to Joe's radio station or call Joe directly at, you know, you can work it that way with those free 15 and 30 second spots that Jared gets for you. So, and he often will set up a, like, uh, put you on for a 10 minute with, with somebody that's already a local celebrity. He did that with Dave for, for the person that's most popular, the local talk show host that's most popular on the radio show in your area. So that's really nice. And those are all things that happen that are just tossed into the mix that give you a better chance of being successful. Um, Oh, shoot. I know we've got a few few more questions adding up here. Uh, oh, so I follow up question to the cost. So if you want specific cost in your area, I would hit yes on that poll. There's, you know, absolutely in this part of our uh, what we promote here at IAMS, this is a partnership. And what we're looking for is folks that um, are enjoying a level of success in their life and annuity business uh, and working with that 55 to, to 80 age demographic currently, uh, but just need to see uh, more people to see that, it, that it, their success expand. And so we're open and willing at any point to help uh, with the process and help a little bit with the cost as well, uh, you know, given some commitment on the part of the individual. So if you're in that realm, if you know what, if when you get in front of a customer, you're very comfortable in talking through, uh, you know, why they should do business with you and how your system works and what you do and how you do it. Uh, and it's just a matter of getting in front of more qualified prospects. I'm going to tell you right now that there is nothing better than radio. Is there something better than radio for your first show and your second show? I think probably. Uh, but by the time you get to your third, fourth and fifth and sixth show and people are starting to recognize who you are, there's just nothing better than radio. You will see your business grow at a, uh, at a, a geometric rate. Uh, and there's a couple reasons for it. And Dave touched on it. I'm going to go back up a slide or two, because I think this is one of the more important factors uh, is the, that star quality. And I've seen that. Uh, Dave happens to be semi-local here. He's close enough to our town. We're in Amon, Nebraska. He's close enough uh, that every once in a while I'll go out and we'll uh, go out to his town and do some golfing. So I've been to him at, at the club. Everybody in Dave's club knows him now. That wasn't the case four years ago. And Dave's been in the business for 44 years. So uh, they hear him on the radio. All of a sudden, he's the guy that's the expert. And 
you know, he's more referable. His when he does social security seminars, which he's doing a little bit less of, but when he does them, he has much greater attendance. So there's just something about the fact that you've been on radio and now you're a bit of a recognized personality in the area that is uh, it's just good for your business overall. I had a call with somebody here locally who is, uh, I know for a fact, just because I have heard his radio show over the past eight or 10 years, I know that he's been on the radio here in Omaha for the past 10 years, and he's in the financial services business. All you have to do is turn your turn your radio on, usually around anytime between 7 and 10 on a Saturday and 7 and 10 on a Sunday, and you're going to hear probably a radio show or two from a local uh, financial advisor so you can hear what they how that goes um, but he'd been on the radio here for and he, here was his here was his a problem that he had he said to me uh, Steve I need and he doesn't go through us for his business he's he but he knows who we are and he said I need four or five advisors in my area I need you to find me four or five advisors in my area he said I am too I've got too many people to see. Frankly, uh, I'm a little bit worn out. My business is as mature as it could be. And D is probably, well, I don't know, 55. You know, he's kind of aging out a little bit in terms of uh, wanting to be as, as uh, directly involved in his business as he is. And he said, I've just got more people that I can see. I need some people to come in and, you know, handle some of these leads that I'm getting. And, it, it, you know, how, who would not like to have that problem uh, right now? So, and, and there are there are a lot of people that are interested right now in the products that we offer that safe money uh he you know a lot of dave offers other than insurance products he offers securities as well and i will say that i think the opportunity for someone is greater if they offer uh you know they have their series 65 as well as uh, the you know good good uh, skills around annuity offerings so if that's you uh, you're that's probably even a better fit uh, i guess in the end when we talk about cost uh, it really comes down to not what does it cost, but what are the benefits and the benefits uh, initially will help offset, will offset them. And over time, they will be, they will weigh well outweigh. You'll, I think you'll, you'll look back and say, hey, this is the best thing that I've ever done for my business. If your problem is how to meet more people. Uh, so um, let's see, I'll answer a couple more questions here. Oh, um, so I, I, I neglected. So I'd left the slide up here that has that, the retirement boss radio. In fact, we might be able to go to that. I'm going to try and I'll try and do that here. Because <clears throat> the question is, can we listen to Dave's uh, podcasts? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go down. So Okay, so if you go down, if you go to www.retirementbossradio.com, you can see that you can listen to any one of Dave's shows, uh, and he he uh, podcasts them in that basically that 30-minute segment. It's 26.57. That's what they produce down for a half an hour show because then you know you do the calls to action. There's some things that come on there. They're commercials for Dave, uh, but they, they, they are nevertheless commercials within Dave's radio show. So you need to produce out 26.57 uh, minutes of uh, production for each half hour uh, of your show. Um, so you can listen to those there. A lot of people listen to that and they think, well, gosh, Dave sounds really good on the radio. I don't, it's not going to sound like that for me. Uh, I don't know if he has any of his earliest. Yeah, he starts 2022. Uh, he goes back to 2021. I would go back if I were you. I don't think he has any of his first shows on, but I would go back to the very beginning and see what that sounds like a uh, little bit. It does take a, a minute or two to kind of get yourself uh, to to a comfort level with the whole process of recording a show and what you say and how you interact with that. You have a sidekick, Steve is his name, Steve Siddall, uh, and he kind of is the Ed McMahon for your show, uh, the kind of the sidekick that keeps everything moving along and keeps conversation flowing. Uh, that's part of the deal as well. Uh, the production is part of the deal. So there's, you know, lots of, 
little music, it'll, you know, moving from commercials to the show and calls to action and all that, uh, all that is produced professionally for you. Uh, and so that's your radio show is going to sound strikingly like Dave's, uh, and, you will have available, and this is going to answer a couple of other questions I see as well. You, you're going to have show notes that you go by, so it isn't a, it isn't scripted, so you don't read from a script, but you have notes for the show. So what Dave would say is, I I review those notes before I sit down to do my recording, uh, and I have some talking points. I may even bullet out some things that I want to make sure that I say. Uh, but Dave always has the calls to action as part of those shows no, show notes. You basically say those word for word, uh, and then you just your the rest of it is conversational, kind of with Steve at all the co-hosts. So, um, so yes, the uh, the question is uh, is it live recorded? I think Dave mentioned that it is recorded, uh, and you can uh, review. And if you want to re-record, you can do it right on the spot. If you want to re-record a whole segment, I don't know that that's ever anybody's ever asked to do that, but the answer is yes, you could re-record a whole segment. Um, question here half hour segments how to okay so uh when when you do your first two or three recordings uh with steve sadal they're good you're gonna uh, sit down and basically do uh two half hour segments and you kind of do those all at once together with steve and that would be your first one hour show and then next you're going to do another two half hour segments and that will be your second show and then you're going to do that again for your third show and then your fourth show what they're going to do is they're going to take the recording of your first half hour couple that with a recording a new half hour recording that you do and make a new one hour show and so it saves your time saves a little money on a production uh, and uh, no one has ever had any situation with, hey, why are you doing replays? It just has never come up. And whether people don't notice it or uh, whether they don't remember or they, they, didn't, they didn't listen in uh, to the first whole show. So that's how that would work. So the first three or four shows that you record, you're recording a full hour. And then after that, you're recording half hour segments and then just, just coupling those uh, out for your for your hour segments. As far as timing, it varies. Uh, there, Yes, there are some that would appear on uh, like a weekday evening, uh, kind of a drive time during the week. For most stations, that's fairly expensive time. Uh, most of the shows are going to appear, as I mentioned earlier, on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings. And obviously, that doesn't, uh, you can record them at any time. So if you want to record on a Monday morning, Dave has recorded f from not even from his office. He's recorded, uh, you know, from places that he's been traveling to so the recording part of it is fairly fairly straightforward and easy takes a computer takes a uh, we recommend a, a mic uh, to make sure that you have good clear crisp sound and then as dave mentioned there's a little windscreen uh, that P, it kind of takes the edge off of hard co constant sounds the p's and the and the b's and things like that it just sounds a little bit better uh, so that's the that's the equipment that you need to record a show Oh, I'm going to try and handle another question or two. I'm sorry. There's a lot of questions and answering them and paging through them at the same time. Not necessarily easy. I think I've got a cost. If you have other questions on cost and you want to chat with me about that, you certainly could, you're certainly welcome to call me. Uh, I can be reached at 800-255-5055. Again, my name is Steve Murray. Uh, you can chat with me. Um, if you hit yes on that poll, what'll happen is Bray will give you a call and he'll, he'll just try and get a time set up for you and Dave, and it is Dave that you're talking to. You're not it, Dave's team at Lazarus Coaching is about three or four people now. Uh, the media buyer is a third party, uh, so uh, that's uh, a conversation that would happen later if you decide to move forward. We get the media buyer on the line and, and kind of discuss what's the right station to use and costing and things like that. Uh, so that's kind of a separate entity. Uh, the phone, okay, so the appointment setters, Dave did go through two or three folks. So when they do that, the the call to action, 
and that phone call gets made, that goes to a call center, and that is a retirement boss radio call center. And those folks have been vetted. They've been doing it for uh, Dave and for other retirement boss radio folks uh, for, uh, uh, I was going to say, over a decade. That's not true. Dave's been doing it now for about four or five years, uh, but they've got plenty of experience of handling those incoming calls and converting them to appointments, but that is already set up as well. So uh, I, so your question, uh, Thomas, of does the call come to me or how do I arrange for uh, being available when the calls come in? You don't have to do that. Uh, could you do that if that's what you're asking? I think that that could be allowed. Uh, you just have, would have to be available uh, and probably do a different phone number uh, when uh, when your radio show is being aired. I don't, I don't think, I think the, the, you would find that the call center it does such a good job on that. Uh, there are very few calls that come in that don't get converted to appointments. And even when calls come in that don't get converted to appointments, you'll get the information on those as well. So I think that's answered. Um, all of the questions that I see, again, if if I've missed one or if I didn't answer one completely or Dave didn't get one answered completely, don't hesitate to give us a call. There's there's real opportunity here, folks. I will say that. Um, we'd love to have you take advantage of it. It will uh, catapult your business. If you're doing a couple million and you want to get to four, this is a way to do it. If you're doing four and you want to get to six or eight, this is a way to do it. Uh, and we can help you. Uh, with that every step of the way we're going to make it it's this part of it is going to be uh, you know the the coaching and making sure that that you have everything you need to be successful is going to be the easy part of it for you we'll take care of all that for you so that you have opportunity to be successful and sound good on the radio uh, you will be happy uh, with what happens in terms of your clientele saying oh i heard your radio show it makes you, it does make you more referable as i've mentioned people are much more comfortable with saying hey yeah my guy is uh, uh tom Bonone. he is he's this guy that's on the radio on saturday morning you can hear a show if you want and it makes you it does definitely make you more referable if you're doing other things to build your business in your area uh, and you'll just you'll see how radio and being on the radio uh, just kind of helps them do even better for you so good reasons to consider radio uh, i'm selling hard because i've seen it work so many times and it's such a great opportunity uh for uh, for pe for folks that are working in that 55 uh, plus community so let us help you uh let me get out of here if you have any questions give us a call 800-255-5055 if you'd like you can ask for me directly again my name is steve murray your sales director can help you uh and we can get you set up with dave if you want to speak with him directly so i uh, look forward to it it's friday after uh, friday morning uh, in most places i uh, thank you for taking some time out of your friday morning to sit in and trying to learn a little bit more about growing your business we definitely want to help you with that that's what we're about here um if there's anything we can do we're available to you uh and obviously we're biased towards folks that all that are making efforts to do things to grow their business it means a lot to us that you're trying to get to new levels in your business and uh, th those are the people that we want to work with uh, day in and day out so let us know how we can help you can be reached here at the office 800-255-5055 my name is steve murray we'll get you in touch with dave pimper thank you for joining us today